Hello everybody, welcome back to C++ Programming. I'm your host, Root of the Null. In the last video, we finally created our first function. And what it would do is it would very simply just say hello. And uh, that's all that it took. It was a void function, which means that it did not return anything, though we know that we can use any other types. We can use a care type, uh, a char type for characters. We can use int, we can use boolean, and we just have the function name. Parentheses that refer to the fact that it is a function, and the code block, and then what it actually does, blah, 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 in the function itself. So, that works just fine for us, but what if we want to expand on this? I'm going to go ahead and save a, a copy of this. I'm going to call mine, uh, the file name will now be 07 functions with arguments. That's CPP. Let's change this function, say hello, and let's change it to be an int type, and let's change the name to be something simple like add. Let's add an integer. Inside the parentheses are where we can actually supply specific arguments or parameters that a function will take in. When we call this function over in any other function or any other place in the program, when we call it by actually just writing its name and you then interacting or invoking the function, we use those two parentheses. And inside we can pass in, that's the term that I'll probably be using the most, we can pass to this function other values and things that it should work with. What if we were to add 5 and let's say 4? Note that I use a comma to separate different arguments and that sort of thing. And we need to actually supply for that in the function itself, in the skeleton. So this int add function it's going to take two parameters. It's going to take one integer, a, and it's going to take another integer, b. So we have to define, okay, int b. That's pretty simple, right? It needs the variable and its type. This can, of course, be anything else. It can be a, a character or, or, or a boolean or, or a float, anything else that you want to do. But in this case, because we're building an add function, let's just keep it to simple integers. Now we can return you guys know this operator, right? Return A plus B. Simple stuff. If I were to run this code, nothing you can see is really going to happen. Actually, let's go 07. Add it out. You can see that it doesn't output anything because we haven't told it to output anything. It's just adding these numbers and not doing anything with the, with the information. Let's add C out. And let's create a new line here. Now we see out what is returned by this function add 5 4 and uh, that's just going to be adding those variables 5 and 4 and line. I can run this. Let's check it out. Now it's adding 9. Cool. This can be anything. You can take in any numbers whatsoever. 20, negative 200. Run the code, negative 180. Now you might be telling me John Okay, sure. I get your point, but this is stupid. We can just go ahead and say 20 plus negative 200. Well, yeah, you can, and you're, 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 you're totally right here, but the point that I'm trying to get across to you guys is that you have functions. <laughs> and that sounds really stupid when I say you have functions, but what I mean is that you have the capability to do more things than just simply add. This function could do potentially anything. We could have it um, call mom. I don't, I don't care. We'd have a function that could call mom, and that can go through the logistics of, okay, what if we were to look through a, 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 uh, a yellow book, or a, a, a book that has all these telephone numbers and addresses in it, and just, okay, where is mom? Who is, what do I have to do? It can do more things than just one, and then you can, then of course, return any data that you need to, or you don't have to, with your void keyword. Functions can do so much. They are very, very powerful, and putting them in the light that, okay, let's add two numbers together, is honestly a terrible example. But, you know as a programmer, because I'm, I'm sure you guys have been through Python, I'm sure you guys have been through Batch, you've been through plenty of stuff, you know what a function can do, and how to do it. In C++, this is just the syntax. This is the way that you should actually write it in your code. I know you have more ideas as to how these functions can do some incredible things. Okay. I'm good, guys. I'm done. <laughs> I'm 
done for now. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Very, very simple. All that it takes for arguments and functions is just adding the variables that you want to use inside of the parentheses in the function, uh, sorry, function, declaration, and definition. Thanks! I'll see you in the next tutorial.